In Touch has exclusively reported that Leslie Beter, the wife of David Beter, the ex-husband of Shannon Beter, dismissed her divorce claim weeks after submitting a request for a restraining order. Leslie urged the court to rescind her petition for dissolution, which she filed in September, on October 23rd, according to court documents obtained by In Touch. On November 14th, however, the court granted Leslie's request and dismissed the case. Marriage therapy was agreed upon by David and Leslie a few weeks prior to their dismissal. Days following her provisional restraining order, Leslie filed for divorce, as In Touch initially reported. David, Leslie claimed in her filing, was verbally abusive. It was her assertion that he established a hostile environment for her and their three-year-old daughter, Anna Love Beedor. When her ex-partner Eric's arrived to retrieve their two children on September 9th, Leslie asserted that David had an outburst. She claimed that David confronted her ex-partner and hurled a variety of obscenities at Eric's while he waited in his vehicle with the window opened. The behavior of David towards Eric's was observed by all the children in attendance. It was extremely cynical. According to Leslie, she will furnish the court with the recordings that she recorded during the entire incident. Every one of my children is horrified by David's conduct. She stated that following this incident, she received approximately 59 harassing texts from David in a succession. These texts stated that she was having with him, that she should go have with him, and that she was being accused of a variety of outrageous things that were impossible. Truly, David requires assistance. A state of obsessive mania develops in him. David's subsequent meltdowns are unpredictable in terms of their date and duration. Even when he is at work, these meltdowns are continuous, causing me to live in dread and concern about the impact on the children. David responded that he had previously attempted to separate from Leslie on numerous occasions. Despite the fact that he filed for divorce on three separate occasions, each case was dismissed after the couple reconciled. According to him, Leslie frequently accuses me of being abusive when I express my opinions or disagree with her. She has a propensity to send me texts constantly for hours at a time in an attempt to elicit a response from me. I am under the impression that Leslie is enraged because I revoked her credit card privileges to spend unlimited amounts of money over the weekend, he stated. David maintained his conviction that Leslie and her former partner orchestrated the Eric's incident. According to David, I am of the opinion that this was a premeditated attempt to elicit an emotional response from me and or obtain this order, as Leslie had already informed me that she intended to file for divorce at that time. Additionally, David stated, This is a form of extortion, and it is precisely what she is attempting to do. She is incensed that I revoked her credit card, which permitted her to spend infinitely. Additionally, I am not obliged to maintain her lifestyle. He continued by stating that Leslie will compose any narrative she deems necessary in order to achieve her objectives under the appropriate circumstances. The dates of marriage and separation were specified by Leslie in her divorce filing as October 15, 2020, and September 8, respectively. Her request was for the court to grant her primary custody of their daughter and spousal support. The enforcement of their prenuptial agreement was requested by David, who also requested joint custody. Court officials have declared the case to be concluded.